commenter asked if I collected anything else, and I said I didn't have any other hobby collections. Um, but I'll show you these planes that I have, and I don't use them much, and I do. One of them especially has a great history. I'll start with the little one, probably a little block plane or something. I bought this 22 years ago when I was doing an add-on to my house. What I used it for was to, to cut down the sharp edge of a board that I was, the boards I was putting in for window sills. And so this works very well for just rounding that. Break it out every once in a while when I need to do something like this. It's very satisfying to do that. Um, so that's just a little one that I have and I, this is the only one I use very often and it's always for something like this where I just need to shave a little bit of wood and I don't even know why I do that sometimes. It's just something that has to be done once in a while. This one I have sitting around. Um, we're going to call it a block plane. If you know something different, I appreciate you saying it. Pretty sure I picked that up at a garage sale or a flea market or something for a good price and I thought I might do something with that. And uh, it's maybe just a larger size block plane. Um, I actually like using draw knives and I often use my own pocket knives or these planes like a draw knife drawing it to me instead of pushing it away. This one is definitely called a smoothing plane um, because I still have the case that it came in. Um, I'm sure that I asked for a, a plane one year for Christmas or something and somebody got me this and uh, I thought it was something that I would want or use or whatever and I probably had it I might have had this 30 years or more. It's the uh, Buck Brothers is the name of the company that built it. Um, I know that y'all who pay attention to planes and stuff like that understand a lot more than I do about how these adjust and sharpen and all those kind of things. It's not something I deal with too often. But these last two, these bigger ones, are, have kind of a sentimental value, special. And I just actually talked to my dad yesterday and asked him about these because I got them from him. And he told me on this one, which may be a jack plane, I don't know. Um, he said he's pretty sure that he picked that up for 10 bucks at a flea market or something, but it didn't have a handle and he built the handle for this. And I know my dad used to like to use planes uh, a fair amount. Um, I don't know where they all ended up. Maybe this is the only one he used. Maybe he sold some, I don't know. But he made the handle on this one and uh, he gave that to me. And uh, so, I keep it around. I don't throw away things like that. If you know planes, this one has is, is got some good weight to it. It's, uh, it's nice and heavy. Um, but this last one, this big one, which uh, we may call a smoothing plane or a jointer plane or something like this, um, this one I can tell you a lot more about. Um, this belonged to my great-grandfather, and we think he built it. He was a carpenter. We think that he built it. My grandmother was born in 1911, so she would be well over 100 years old, so I'm guessing that this is at least well over 100 years old. Um, but my grandfather, my great-grandfather was a, a carpenter. Um, I would be interested in knowing um, what kind of wood he built this out of. Um, it's dense, it's fairly heavy. Um, I don't know if he was really good at carving uh, saw handles or if he took that off of an old saw somewhere. Um, but it seems to be intact. All the pieces are there. Um, probably hand built by my grandfather. I don't know that I'll ever have a chance to use it, but I don't think I would hesitate to use it if I found a reason to. Um, I don't know much more about that. I didn't know my great grandfather. He, he died long before I was born. But, uh, but, Somebody asked if I collected other things. I don't actively collect planes, but I have acquired a few planes over the years and they are nice hand tools. And I know some of you guys love hand tools and uh, I tend to be more of a, of a power tool guy just because I'm not very skilled at using hand tools. But anyway, that's my planes. Comment, please tell me what you know about these kind of planes. If the, if the size means something, if the style means something, um, I don't know, but uh, I'm interested in learning. Thanks, subscribe, comment.